Bishop desperation of the flock. Is it one of the issues? There's a process uh, that is actually involved in cult recruitments. Mm. Uh, the process begins by selling uh, a vision that uh, the recruit would buy. And the vision is usually given as a, a very glamorous thing. Come, you will see Jesus. Or come uh, and your problems will be solved. And uh, come and become part of the group that will finally end in heaven. Mm -hmm. And come because Jesus is coming back next week or coming back in one year's time. So th there's something glamorous that is used uh, as a hook to sell to this individual. Once the individual uh, has bought that, and I do hear there were TV programs that he was running, that people were watching throughout the whole country that actually began luring people. Once the individual has come in, then it is when they discover that it is actually not what they actually had been promised, that it is much, much deeper. Now the process begins there where there is discouragement for free thoughts. You, th you can't think independently. Mm -hmm. Independent thinking is seen as a disobedient. Mm -hmm. uh, disobedience is also seen as a, a disregarding the authority of the leader because the leader becomes an absolute authoritarian. His word becomes like, uh, not just the law, becomes like the Bible. Sometimes mm -hmm. his words is given a greater emphasis mm -hmm. than even what the Bible says. So you begin ignoring the Bible, mm -hmm. you start paying attention to the words of, uh, of this leader. Mm -hmm. And the more you pay attention to the words of this leader, the more you uh, cease to begin thinking and reflecting in yourself. You're rational That's being the, used. Yes, you, be, you stop being rational. Yeah. That's the process through which the brainwashing takes place. Now, at that particular point, uh, what may have brought you may not necessarily be uh, that uh, 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 you are so needy. By that particular point, you reach a stage where now you are willing to throw away your life when the leader tells you what you should do. They cut off your support system, mm -hmm. so you People can't can advise you, can advise you, you restore you. You, 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 to you can't uh, talk to your mother. You can't. Sometimes even they cut off media. They remove your phone. Mm -hmm. uh, they they discourage any dissent in terms of you trying to leave. Uh, then they intimidate you with doubts or guilt. Mm -hmm. You begin feeling, uh, I'm doing the wrong thing by leaving this group. I don't have salvation outside this group. The only source of salvation mm -hmm. is being within uh, this community. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, individuals feel bound to remain there, even when their uh, other sense is telling them, mm -hmm. there's something weird here, there's something strange here, but they can't leave. And by that time, you are hooked. Mm -hmm. The leader then begins uh, to tell you what to do. And at the control point, they control whether you go to school or mm -hmm. not go to school. Mm -hmm. They control where you work or what kind of work. They control what you do with your money. They control marriage. They control whether you get children. They control what you believe. They sometimes control what you eat, uh, where you sleep. You, you, you generally have become a zombie mm -hmm. in the hands of the leader mm -hmm. who is being ordered and directed because of using his spiritual authority, mm -hmm. his spiritual power over you. Dark spiritual power. I yes. don't believe